lovers, welcome to our annual Trader Joe's fall taste test and haul. This has to be the biggest one we've ever done. Like, <laughs> yeah, like we, are, <laughs> we are overflowing <laughs> with goodies. Like we went all out and I'm excited, but also we might Scary. feel very sick after this, honestly. So let's just start out with a bang. So how this works is we will just show you what we picked up and then we will taste it and rate it from one to five stars and we'll share all of our favorites. And I also picked up some things that we're not gonna try just because we've already had them or we just don't feel like eating them now. So I'll insert those in right here. Okay, so the first things I picked up as soon as I walked in the store were these two fairy tale pumpkins. They were $7.99 each and I just thought they were absolutely gorgeous. And I love how Trader Joe's has the pumpkins pretty early because none of our local pumpkin patches are open yet. So grabbed two of those. And then I also grabbed this pumpkin shaped pasta, which we got last year and it's it's super cute i mean it's nothing like crazy delicious but i just love the little pumpkin shapes and then i did grab two different pasta sauces so we'll have to pick which one to pair it with we've had this autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce in the past and it's definitely super tasty but this one i've never seen before and i'm really excited to try it this pumpkin alfredo sauce Yum, that looks so delectable. So we'll probably pair those two together. And then I also picked up a couple cans of their organic pumpkin. I absolutely love how they have this because it's only one ingredient. You have your organic pumpkin and that's it. And I love to use these for baking and also making dog treats for Palmer. I also picked up this tea to try. I've never seen it before. Maybe they've had it in the past, but it's new to me and I just love the packaging. I feel like it's so enchanting looking and I love to have seasonal tea just to offer guests whenever they come over and I think this will be a good one. And then I picked up this foaming apple cider hand soap. I haven't smelled this yet, but I imagine it's gonna smell so delicious and I think I'm just gonna put it in our guest bathroom. And then I also grabbed this pumpkin butternut squash bisque. We purchased it last year as well and it's super tasty and really just gets you in the mood. And these pumpkin rolls are one of my favorites. They are so crazy good. I think it's really fun to have this for breakfast on the first day of fall or Halloween. So that's definitely a staple of ours. I also love the butternut squash mac and cheese. A great quick and easy lunch to really get you in the autumn spirit. And it's definitely more of a treat because it's so savory and creamy. And then the cinnamon whisk. This is just one of those iconic Trader Joe's fall things. They have a large version of this as well, but I picked up the little mini one. This is great for hanging in your car, so that's what I'm probably gonna do, but you could also put it in a bathroom or just in your kitchen to add some nice scent. And then speaking of scent, we have this Honeycrisp Apple scented candle, and this smells so yummy. I'm gonna bring it over to the taste test so that we can smell it on camera together. I think Brandon will absolutely love it. I was kind of bummed because I was hoping to get the vanilla pumpkin candle that they have, but they were out of it. But lots of the workers at Trader Joe's said this one's actually their favorite, so good stuff. And then the last thing, they have these pumpkin maple bacon flavored dog treats. So I had to grab one for Palmer so that he could be a part of the taste test with us. Okay, here's a little pumpkin maple bacon flavored treat for our bestie to try. <laughs> You're looking so handsome down. Yes, good boy, good boy. Oh, yum. And why don't we kick things off with the ice cream before wow. it melts? <laughs> okay. That's what we did last year. Sense. So this year we have the pumpkin ice cream, which is which is just like a tube of the ice cream. Do we have cones last year? Yeah, last yeah. year we had the hold the cone pumpkin flavored ones, and those are so good. Those are my favorite, but I didn't see them at our store this year. Maybe they ran out of them, but this ice cream is just like a classic that I've been wanting to try anyways. It's a beautiful orange color, so. Bon appetit. Let's just go for it. I honestly don't love ice cream that doesn't have chunks of things in it, if that makes sense. Like I love when there's chunky chocolate chips or cookie dough. Hmm. Oh wow. That is a very authentic pumpkin flavor. I wanted to check if it had any dyes on it in it. Oh yeah, there's something for color, but it doesn't look innato extract. I'm not sure what that is, but that has very good flavor. Do you like it? It's good. 
I wish it's it were really less sweet. There's it is super a ton sweet. of sugar in it. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Don't look at the nutrition facts. This is not a haul for the nutrition but it facts. Tastes good. Okay, that's really good. Like if you have, oh, you said this later because we were talking about the ice cream, but I made pumpkin bread yesterday. So a warm slice of pumpkin bread with a scoop of pumpkin ice cream on top, that is next level. Okay, let's good. rate it. Let's let's say it at the same time. Okay, one, two, three, four. four. Why do we always do this? We always. I was oh. watching the haul from last year and we pretty much always said the same number whenever we said it at the same time. So only That's crazy. There's no other way to describe it. Alright, gotta okay, pace can you myself. Go? I want more of that, but... Okay, we need something uh, savory. So yeah, much. put that in the freezer real quick <laughs> so it doesn't melt. We definitely have way more sweet things than savory things. We have the mac so. and cheese over there. <laughs> no, we're not going to do the mac and cheese right now. We've had that before. We know it's good. He's in, a, good. he's in a savory mood, apparently. Okay, well, let's go with the cheese now. Cheese and ice cream, name a better duo. So this is the creamy Toscano cheese dusted with cinnamon. And we tried this last year and we loved it. It is compared to, we compared it to Parmesan. Remember, yeah. it tasted a lot like Parmesan. And it is just a very yummy yeah, bigger cheese. Piece. Can't taste that. Oh Let's my goodness. That. I'll taste this one. Mm-hmm. Just how I remembered. Yeah, some things are duplicates, but we also did get new things. Um, and I'm interested to see if our taste buds change a bit and if we tweak our ratings at all. Is it as good as you remember? Better? Oh, that's very good. Yeah. It's what would you say? I mean, you don't taste the cinnamon that much. Maybe a tiny hint of it, yeah, but it's just a really great quality cheese. Okay, we have another cheese to try, but let's switch it up to something. Oh, sweeter. we're not rating that? Oh yeah, we need to rate it. This is, you have to keep me accountable for rating. Five. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give that a five as well. I feel like we're being generous with our ratings so far. No, I mean. It's, it's just the truth, stuff. it's just the truth. Okay, this that is I the am craziest. Not for. I saw it this morning and I was like, that is not so Guys, right look at, at this. Can you believe your eyes? Pumpkin hummus. Sometimes I just have to like shake my head a bit. But here we are. Guess who bought it? I did. So we are going to go for it. What did you try it on? I cut up some apple slices to try it with. But you could also just spoon a bit. <laughs> I'm going to try it with an apple. Like, do you think it's gonna be sweet or savory? It looks like peanut butter. It, it does looks look good. Like peanut butter. <laughs> I did a big, I did a big tasting of it. Okay, I'm very committed. I want you to know. All right, here we go. Maybe you can just try it. Mm mm. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not great. I don't want to say anything before. <laughs> it honestly reminds me of baby food. <laughs> but the flavor isn't awful. It's just the consistency that I don't like. It's almost like a pumpkin butter in a sense. Yeah, garbanzo beans are still the first ingredient. I was curious about that because they make hummus with like black beans and all different things these days. What do you think? You want to rate it? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, two. two. <laughs> we always do the same one. Are you a mind yeah. reader? I reserve one for things that are like gross. That's not gross, it's just not good at all. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> but hey, you gotta try it for yourself because everyone has different taste buds. All right, let's have something warm. Okay, this is something warm and savory. This is butternut squash mac and cheese bites. Oh, I need to find the box good. for it. Yeah, <laughs> um, so there's so many. Okay, this is what it is. We've had their regular mac and cheese bites. I have a whole one for you. You can have this oh, whole wow. thing. And they're really tasty. This is such a fun appetizer idea. If you have people coming over for Thanksgiving or autumn. Mmm. Whoa. I love that. I've been using my pants as a napkin and I have some <laughs> stains already. <laughs> Do I don't know. <laughs> I'm distracted by all this goodness. Okay, do you want to say any comment before you rate it? Okay, we're gonna rate it. One, 
two, three, five. Three and a half. You don't like it that much? I thought it was really good. Better than good. the regular mac and cheese bites. It's good. I thought it was super good. I think I could have a little more flavor. Hmm. Well, the first bite, it just like my taste buds had a party, so. Okay, this is something so unique that I'm really excited about. So this is another frozen offering, and this is a sweet cinnamon filled Korean pancake. This is that? Yeah. So it's a chewy, flaky dough with a lusciously gooey cinnamon filling. This is that add a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> it says a serving <laughs> suggestion. You can try it. That would be good with the pumpkin, potentially. You go. Let's try you it. Go. Okay. So it's that stuff in the middle. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. looks good in there. Mm -hmm. Smells good in there. Mm-hmm. Wow. I cooked it in the air fryer, but it said to cook it in a pan and just flip it on both sides so that it gets nice and crispy. So next time I'm definitely gonna cook it that way, but I was already just heating everything up in the air fryer. That is so good. Okay, let's rate it. <laughs> he wants to eat more. You gotta pace yourself, okay? No, but I know. Okay, let's rate it. One, two, three, five. Four and a half. Four and a half. Alrighty. Good stuff. That's good. Now I'm getting thirsty with all of this. This is the spiced apple cider. This is what it looks like. Comes in a big container. We've had this before, but I don't really remember it. But it looks very authentic. Like at the bottom, you see the spices. I don't and remember having it. You don't? No. I think we've had it before. Mm. <laughs> Yum. I know I barely poured anything. <laughs> it's just a tasting, okay? hard to go wrong with apple cider. He had to pour more to give a fair analysis. It was very thorough, if you can't tell. It doesn't taste that different than apple juice, honestly. Okay, let's rate it. One, two, three, four, four. and a half. Four. Fair. I mean, it's great, but nothing like sensational. I mean, four and a half is like, Almost. It's Five like, is sensational. Yeah, it's almost. Feel like you, that's a little too high of a rating for that comment. Let me rate how I want to rate, okay? Okay. All right, now we have another cheese. This isn't necessarily an autumn cheese, but this is their September cheese of the month. So we are going to give it a go. It's a canestrato pepado. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sure, that but it right. has black peppercorns within the cheese. So oh. I don't think there's a peppercorn in that bite. I don't really see much in this slice that I purchased, but it's a hard cheese, which I know you typically like hard cheeses. You know what that mm. reminds me of? What? The like powdered cheese that you like pour on, like the uh, like Parmesan? chunky cheese or places will have that you pour on pizza. Oh yeah, just like the it, Parmesan. It's pretty good. That's this just... also tastes like Parmesan a bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying though. You know that powdered cheese, like with the red pepper flakes? Like this is almost like yeah. crumbly once you eat yeah. it. Yeah. Interesting. That is interesting. Okay, let's rate it. Four. One. Oh, I was doing a countdown. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna rate it a two. It's not my favorite. Oh. The consistency. That was good. The flavor's okay, but the consistency isn't my favorite. Okay, let's try these samosas. There you go. What is that? Samosa, it is another one of their frozen offerings, and this is a spicy pumpkin samosa. And they are spiced pumpkin and paneer filling wrapped in a crisp, flaky pastry. Spiced pumpkin and what filling? Spicy pumpkin and paneer. I'm not sure what paneer is, to be honest. But it's an Indian dish. A nice spice. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Remember the pumpkin empanadas last year? Those were good. That is spicy, so if you don't like spiciness, mm -hmm. maybe skip out on those. But we love our spice. Last one was a three and a half. Changing. Three okay. and a half. Got it. Just so you know. Gotta clarify. That one? Okay. One, two, two three, four. four. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, great flavor. Good spice. Love it. Okay, now let's do our classic, iconic pumpkin bagel. But this year, we're gonna pair it with some maple butter. Oh. This is organic maple butter. I stirred it before we started because 
it needed it. There was some separation. So I love to pair, do you mind adding some butter? You know I'm These bagels. Also, I noticed they had gluten-free pumpkin bagels. So if you have a gluten allergy, you can try those out. But I love these and I specifically love them with the pumpkin cream cheese, but unfortunately they didn't have any when I went shopping. So I picked up the maple butter as a little substitute to pair with our bagel. Is this just in like the pantry? So the butter so was- runny. Yeah, it says to refrigerate after opening. So once we put it in the refrigerator, it'll thicken up a bit. <laughs> The bagel isn't as toasty because it's been sitting out for a little bit. It's okay. It tastes way better with the cream cheese, in my opinion. We need more. We're mixed up. We're, we have a Okay, just try the bagel by itself if you want. So I, can't rate the... I don't want to take a spoonful of maple butter, though. You can do that, though, if you want. Go for it. We also have a pumpkin waffle to try, which could pair well with the butter. Okay, let's rate the bagel. Hmm. You ready to rate the bagel? No. Okay. I give it a three. three and a half. <clears throat> I think it'd be way better with the cream cheese yeah. if I haven't said that enough. I feel like I've said that 20 times. And then the butter, <clears throat> it's too runny right now. That's my biggest critique, but the flavor is good. You definitely taste the maple, sweet. so I'm gonna give it a 3.5. You say three? Yeah, it is a bit sweet. Okay, let's try our pumpkin waffle. Let's try it by itself. I just put it, yeah, we'll try it by itself first. I just put it in the toaster to warm it up really quickly. That's what it looks like. This is a great, quick, easy breakfast, especially if you have kids, I feel like. There you go. Or a snack, a midday snack. Not a big pumpkin flavor, honestly, right? Doesn't really taste like much. Yeah. It just tastes like an Eggo waffle. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah. Should we try it with the pumpkin butter right now? Nah. Okay. Moving along, let's see. Okay, wanna try the kombucha? No. No, why? Ooh, the coffee? Yeah, that's a good pairing with our breakfast foods. So we have the La Calum pumpkin spice latte. And I remember we had this last year and we were pretty hard on it. We weren't loving it, but we love La Colum, and I actually had a little taste of it yesterday, and I mm. thought it was really good. I think I'm starting to like pumpkin spice lattes even more, especially when they're iced. So yesterday I had it with plain iced coffee, so plain black iced coffee mixed with the latte, and it was divine. But just plain like that, it's too milky, which I know it's a latte, so it's supposed to be milky, but it's just kind of like, but with the black coffee, it's perfection. So I don't really know how to rate this because I love it with the black coffee, but by itself, I don't really like it. Two. Yeah, by itself, it's like, eh, Not but very good. <laughs> tell us how you really feel. Okay, let's, this isn't a taste test. We're going to cleanse our palate with the Honeycrisp Apple Scented Candle. Take a whiff of it, clear your palate as we get into the rest of this. <laughs> I think you're gonna love good. this. Can you open it? It's not <laughs> stuck. <laughs> oh, that smells so yummy. So fresh. It, it smells exactly like a honey crisp apple right when you cut into it. I love it. <laughs> Gotta take this away from you. You're gonna try to eat it. Okay, now. Oh, I it's guess we're four. not going to rate this. <laughs> I rated a five. You don't love the candle? Is it too strong? No, it's not. It's not quite honey crisp. Really? Yeah. What is it? It's more of a... I don't know. It's just not quite a honey crisp. It's not it's authentic like in his eyes. It's like a Fiji. Okay, I didn't know you were an apple connoisseur, yes. but okay. I've every single day. That's true. So next we have our pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. I did not see these in the past, so I'm excited about them. We love roasted pumpkin seeds, and these just have some kind of coating on them. So I'm gonna take a few so that I can really get the flavor. Oh, wow. Yum, those are crispy, way crispier than I anticipated. Oh, those are good. I feel like you could just down a whole bag of that real quick. Yum. 
Are you ready to rate it? Any comments? No. No? You want to rate it? Okay. One, two, three, five. Four. I love them. I think they are delish. It reminds me a little bit of those nuts, so like Disney. And oh yeah, kind of like the almonds with the sugar coating. It's Super strange. tasty. Okay, let's do our pumpkin tortilla chips, which I didn't get anything to dip these in. Need the pepita salsa. I know, the pepita salsa. That's really good. Yeah, we like the pepita salsa. I feel like I just got tired of it a bit because we love it so much that we had it so many times. I think I'm just kind of over it. But these are pumpkin tortilla chips. I don't really taste the pumpkin too much, but I like them. I think they're delicious. Do you taste the pumpkin? Mm -mm. I'm gonna give them a four. Three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're gluten free mm. as well. If you need to look for that. Okay, let's try these little pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels. Do you remember these? I do. We had them last year, but I feel like we had normal size ones. I could be mistaken, but. It's better for our taste test. Yeah, this is better than the mini ones. These are great to put out for a little party. Oh, they're so cute. They're cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So last year I remember not loving them because I'm a chocolate girl and these are just yogurt covered. And if these were chocolate covered, oh my goodness, I would love them, but. Hmm. The flavor is good. I know people who adore these, but it's just not really my forte. We're two, both chocolate two and lovers. A half. Two and a half. I'm gonna give it a two and a half. Not my thing. Well. I never go yeah. this. Okay. You know what is my thing though? This maple popcorn. Oh my goodness. It is so good. Do you remember this from last year? No. Oh, I love this. It's kettle corn. <clears throat> so it's nice and sweet. Has that maple flavor. Sea salt kettle corn. Mm-hmm. I love how kettle corn, some of the pieces are way more sugar coated than other pieces. So it's kind of like, I don't know, every bite is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We need to pour a big bowl of this, cuddle on the couch, wash focus focus. Yeah, with our pumpkin ice cream. Sounds fabulous. Are you just gonna keep eating it all day? The, the rest of the haul. You like it? That's a good one. Okay, let's rate it. One, two, three, five. Yeah. Have you given any fives yet? I did, the cheese. Oh, the the first cheese? Yeah. Yeah. And then I think the He's pretty stingy Korean with his five. The pancake ratings. was a four and a half. I feel like you should put that as a five because you keep talking about that. Maybe you need to warm it up. Yeah. Okay, next we have our pumpkin blondie brownies. Never had these before. Oh. Yeah, we are sugar overload. But we love brownies. Ugh. We love pumpkin. Ow. Okay, and we have a little icing drizzle on top. You want to just share a piece? It's very moist. It just looks like bread. Yeah, it looks like pumpkin brownie. bread. Yeah, huh. with white chocolate chips and pecans. Mmm. Very moist. Mm -hmm. I forget, people don't like that word. <laughs> what else should I say? It's wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's dripping. <laughs> it's good though, it's good. I will say. I feel it's dense, but not too heavy. But it tastes like a bread, not mm. a brownie. Well, we don't really have blondies that much, so maybe we're just not up to speed. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Yeah, I had to deduct some points because it's not a brownie. It's <laughs> okay, I think that's an opinion, but I respect your opinion. No, it's definitely brownie. <laughs> okay, now we have our organic pumpkin spice granola bark. I remember liking this <sighs> last year. I remember it not being too sweet because I think it's dark chocolate. I like how it has the pepitas on top pumpkin seeds. Yeah, pumpkin spice flavored granola layered with dark chocolate and topped with toasted pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I love that. Yeah, this is a great one where if you want something a little sweet but it's not overbearingly sweet, this is perfect. And yogurt bowls. And a yogurt bowl, mm-hmm. Or just like a mid-afternoon <clears throat> mid snack. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give that a 4.5. I agree. I love sweet. that, yeah. Although I really just want the chocolate on the top. Yeah, the dark chocolate's it's the best. The best Okay, now we have these little pumpkin bars. <laughs> They're these little Cute. cereal bars. Yeah, these are like great for kids, lunches. Oh, I'll put it in your lunch. Do <laughs> we have any salty things left? I don't think we have any oh, salty gosh. things left. a little left. stretch. <laughs> just sugary. Okay, this reminds me of a Fig Newton bar. Let me just share that piece. Yeah. We need to pace ourselves a bit more. Mm-mm. Not for me. Do you like it? That's gonna be a one. Takes me back to elementary school. Yeah, it does take me back a bit, but it's too <laughs> sweet. Oh no, I'm not I'm not a big fan. It honestly tastes apple y to me, not even pumpkin y. Like two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. Next we have these pumpkin cranberry crisps, which would probably be good with cheese or some kind of dip. I remember those. Or pumpkin hummus, maybe if you're into that kind of thing. Okay, here's a little crisp for you. They're really cute, honestly. These would be great for a charcuterie board. I'm gonna give it a two. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half. Okay, fair. Okay, next we have cookies galore. Cookies galore, so these are basically Oreos. They're the Halloween JoJo's, which are chocolate pumpkin based cookies with their signature vanilla bean cream. Can we just share one of these? Yes. Please. I'll give you a close up because they are pretty adorable with their little face. Cute. They're actually quite different than Oreos. They're JoJo's. I know, but I always thought they tasted similar, but I don't even know if I've had a JoJo. What Interesting. You have? We have? Of all the ones at oh, Christmas. Oh, at Christmas time, so but they're good. covered with chocolate. It's a bit different. Um, it's good. I'm gonna give it a three. Two and a half. Two and a half, okay. Next up we have maple leaf cookies. These look really beautiful. These would also be pretty set up on a platter, your hosting. The cream looks very fresh. I know it's not. It's probably been <laughs> sitting in this bag for a long time, but box. it looks very nice. Beautiful, beautiful. I appreciate the look of it all. That was a nice crisp. Mmm. Mmm. Too sweet. No chocolate. I'm gonna give that, yeah, usually if it doesn't have chocolate, we're like not about it, but I'm gonna give that a four and a half. I love that flavor. I do love maple. Oh, confusing. All right, let's try this. <laughs> okay. We have two more boxes of cookies. Where did, this is from Trader Joe's? Yeah, did you just oh. mix it? Oh, gosh. He does this every time with kombucha. He mixes it, even though it clearly says do not mix. But just this one, I don't know why we've never tried this kombucha before though, because we love our kombucha. And this is the GTS, or not Synergy. Is it Synergy? Yeah, GTS Synergy raw kombucha, but it's their fall edition. So the main ingredients are apple, spices. I feel good. I feel like it's gonna taste like cider a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm scared now. Cider. Interesting. It's a lot more earthy than I anticipated. Oh, I taste that carrot in the turmeric. That's what it is. Because it's apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. It's okay. A, uh, it's a two. That's a bummer. That's that's a real bummer. I thought it was gonna be super good. Maybe no. That's a one and a half. Oh, ouch! Is that your that lowest rating? Not, not so good. It's not my favorite either, but I still like it. I'm gonna give it a two and a half. Yeah, I feel good about that. Okay, now we have our pumpkin. <laughs> Are you over this? <laughs> You're never gonna wanna eat a pumpkin thing for like at least a week. Meanwhile, I'll be like eating all this again later today. Okay, so we have a pumpkin Jojo. So it's just the Jojo, but 
fully pumpkin and I guess it's more of a, oh, it's a pumpkin flavored sandwich. So what? I was thinking the cookie would be. We would just say so. sandwich. <laughs> it says sandwich. It's a sandwich cookie. That's not my favorite, personally. I'm gonna give that like a half a point, not even a one. <laughs> I really don't like that. You think Do it's you? bad? Yeah, I, I don't it's like it. Than the, oh, this, this one. I like the regular one more than the pumpkin one. Okay, this one I'm not excited. What are you gonna rate it? I don't know if these are fair ratings. Oh. Like we're so just over. These remind the me of those cookies, the, the classic cookies. Yeah. So these are the pumpkin spice cookies. Oh, the animal crackers. Yeah. The frosted the animal frost crackers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. They do look like that a lot. And they remind me of the really good ones that are Christmas that are Mm-hmm. That's what I want. Hmm. That's okay. I'm gonna give that a three. Shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. Again, all of these together would be a beautiful cookie Two and a powder. Half. Two and a half? Okay, that's fair. Oh, I forgot we have a savory thing. <laughs> we have the pumpkin, the spicy pumpkin curry. Do you want a spoonful of that? Yeah. <laughs> With your cookies? Okay, we had this last year and it's delish. I'm not gonna have any right now because I already know I like it. And I'm gonna rate it a five because I love it. It's spicy and it has all those great curry flavors. Also, here's another thing that we're just not gonna try right now because we are overloaded with sweets and this is pretty simple, but I just wanted to share because it's so beautiful and I think it would be a lovely thing to put out on Thanksgiving, put one on each person's table, but they're this really cute Harvest chocolate collection. Five. Five? <laughs> you, you really Five had seven. a spoonful of it? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's spicy. And yeah. Savory. And is that your first five? No. Cheese. Oh, yeah. Me that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all blurring together. Okay, so the curry is a win in our book. Three more things. You we have can too many make it. Things. I know. We have so many cookies. Okay, we have pumpkin biscotti now. I feel like you can't give this a fair assessment without a cup of coffee because biscotti tastes so good when you dip it in the coffee. Oh, this but. is the only way you can give it a fair assessment. <laughs> 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 Ow. <laughs> Biscotti always like breaks your teeth a little bit if you don't dip it in the coffee like I was saying. I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like it. I like biscotti. Two. I'm gonna give it a four. <laughs> okay, can you hand me the madeleines? <laughs> so here we have some madeleines. Oh, they're pumpkin, they're soft. Spiced pumpkin flavors. Yeah, they're super soft. And some may say moist, right? <laughs> I think I would like it a lot more if I didn't just have 20 different pumpkin cookies. Yeah, but me too. I Maybe mean, three. Okay, I'll give it a three and a half because I think it's a great, if you love those Madeline cookies, you'll probably adore this, but we're just a bit overloaded. Okay, the last thing, this isn't even a pumpkin thing, but this is a new offering. It's caramel flavored, okay. It's caramel sea salt baking chips. So Are they chocolate? I think so. Or no, they're caramels. They're little caramel chips that you can put in baking. Like how good would that be in pumpkin bread with chocolate chips and caramel chips? Probably pretty good. I don't really know how mm. to taste this one. There you go. Ooh, that's good. It really has that caramel flavor, but a little bit of salt. Yum. You like it? That would also be good in um, maybe pumpkin pancakes. Delish. Okay, friends, that Four. is it. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Cause I'm, some of the he's mac a and big. Cheese. He's. <laughs> you want the mac and cheese? Yes. Right? He's a big caramel lover, and I like caramel, but I don't know. I'm not as crazy about it. But that was a success. We got lots of good things and lots of yummy things to enjoy the rest of the season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this haul. Thank you to our special guests for joining it. Thank the real you. star of the show. But we love you and cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye. Bye.